In this video, you will see the termination process for the green lee splice on connector on 900 micron fiber. Here are the items necessary for installation Green lee 910 FS Fusion Splicer, Green lee Fiber Stripper, Cleaning Solution and Fiber Optic Wipes, High Precision Cleaver with Removable Holders, and Green lee Splice on Connector. When first turning your fusion splicer on to begin a splicing session, you must remember to perform an arc calibration. Set the machine to arc calibration through the menus as shown. The arc calibration will account for altitude, humidity, temperature, and barometric pressure, and will set the machine to the correct power for arcing, dependent upon your location. If you are splicing single mode fiber, arc check with single mode fiber. If you are splicing multi-mode fiber, arc check with multi-mode fiber. Prepare both ends of the fiber. Strip your fiber, wipe the fiber clean with cleaning solution and wipe before cleaving. Place the field fiber onto the splicer's removable 900 micron holder. Cleave your fiber. load into the machine. Repeat the process as needed until you have an acceptable calibration and the screen reads ARC Adjust OK. From the main menu, select Splice Mode for the fiber you are using. In this case, use Single Mode 6 for single mode fiber we are splicing together. This is the setting for single mode splice on connectors. Enter the splice mode settings and make sure the proof test is set to disable. Next, from the main menu, select the heater mode and enter the 60 millimeter splice sleeve setting. Be sure the heater mode reads center side to ensure the splice sleeve will shrink correctly. Begin by getting the green leaf splice on connector holder as shown and the splice on connector. Remove the ferrule cap and cleave protector. Place the connector into the green leaf splice on connector holder. The setup should look as shown for both the SC and LC connector versions. Place the connector holder on the right side of the splicer machine as shown. Slide the 900 micron boot and splice protection sleeve onto the field fiber. Next, strip an inch to an inch and a half of the 900 micron jacket from the end of the field fiber. Wipe the fiber clean with cleaning solution and wipe before cleaving. Place the field fiber in the splicer's removable 900 micron holder. Be sure to place the buffer to the end of the holder to ensure the proper cleave length of 10 millimeter. Cleave the fiber and place on the left side of the machine. Close the splicer lid and splice the fibers together by pressing the circle button. The splicing action will take about 10 seconds. After the splice is complete, add the extended dust cap to help with the connector transfer to the oven. Lift the clamp on the fiber holder. Lift the field fiber and allow the splice sleeve to slide so it is flush to the back of the connector pushing the sleeve to position as needed. Set the connector into the oven as shown and press the heat button to begin the heat cycle. The heat cycle should take around 35 seconds and may need to be adjusted depending on the environment you are splicing in. Remove the connector and allow the splice sleeve to cool. This could take up to 15 seconds and prevent the splice from breaking during installation. It should look as shown for a complete shrink. Slide the 900 micron boot flush up to the back of the connector. 
Remove the extended dust cap and put the regular dust cap back on to prevent ferrule damage. For SC style connectors, snap on the outer housing, making sure the keyway is on top when installing. You have now completed the Greenlee splice-on connector on the 910FS Fusion Splicer. Mm -hmm.